Good dog. Here. Hey guys, Kent and Sterius here. Uh, it's good to see you again. Today we're going to be looking at a tutorial on how to shoot the blood moon uh, that I shot and posted on Instagram uh, several nights ago. Uh, some of you guys asked for it, were interested in how to shoot that and uh, the process behind it and the editing process uh, in, in post work. And uh, so that's what we're going to be taking a look at. But first, I need to give my dog some exercise. He's a German short hair pointer. He requires tons of exercise. And if I don't exercise him, he literally drives us crazy. He definitely drives my wife crazy. So anyway, it's important for me and the sanity of our house that I give him plenty of exercise. Jack here. not supposed to drop it. If he drops it, he gets in trouble. So he's doing a pretty good job holding it. And uh, good dog, right? <laughs> he has no idea why I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> he's like, what are you doing, Mr. Human? <laughs> uh, just get the thing out of my mouth so that I can run some more. Right, Jack? Huh? Yeah, good dog. Good dog. If he drops it, he's really in big trouble. Jack! Jack! Fetch. Good dog. Yeah, good boy. All right, I think he's done. <laughs> uh, hope you guys like the tutorial. Here we go. All right, so we're back in the office. We're gonna jump into Lightroom and Photoshop, but before we do, I just wanna explain sort of my philosophy on uh, Photoshop and artistic uh, creativity in general. Uh, if you're one of those folks who is a purist and believe that you have to get everything in one exposure, in one shot, and you don't believe in Photoshop, then, uh, then this tutorial is probably not for you. If you can figure out how to take a shot of the moon and have your foreground exposed properly and the moon exposed properly in one shot, that is awesome. Uh, I'd like to hear of how you do it and maybe, uh, maybe you could create a tutorial on how to do that. I use Photoshop very little. In fact, probably 98% of the shots that I post or that I edit or use uh, never get touched in Photoshop. Photoshop is used on, a, on very rare occasions for me and all of my editing is just done in Lightroom where I'm changing exposure and the highlights and shadows and just normal editing stuff like that. But for this shot, I did have to use Photoshop and I'll tell you why. Uh, I had to take one shot that exposed the mountains and the river properly and then I had to take a separate shot that only focused on the moon. Uh, the moon was is an extremely bright object in the sky, and so if I would have exposed if I exposed for the moon, then everything else is completely dark. Uh, likewise, when I expose for the foreground and actually get some detail in the shadows, then the moon is just completely overblown. And you can see that in the shots that I'm showing you here today. My thing is, I like to recreate what I was able to see with my eye, but a camera can't do that in one exposure. Um, I don't like to go past that. I don't really like to, uh, I'm, I'm not into, you know, fine art creativity and, and things like that, but uh, I like to just basically recreate what I was seeing with my eye. Which brings me to another point, and that is uh, the moon itself. Uh, you'll see that as we get into this editing process that I shot the moon a little bit more zoomed in with a different lens. Uh, and that's because I was simply compensating again for what my natural eye was seeing as opposed to what a wide angle lens. Your eye naturally condenses the distance uh, between those distant objects. And so when I was there looking at the moon and when the moon came up, when it was like, wow, is that the moon? And yeah, it was. Um, but the moon was just a, a gigantic ball in the sky, but my wide angle lens just made it look tiny and, and not really what I was seeing with my eye. So uh, anyway, just a little bit of context about my philosophy so that you can understand where I'm coming from. There's a lot of disagreements about this 
And you know what? There's room to disagree. Uh, again, if you if you believe that uh, that you shouldn't even use Photoshop, that's awesome. Yay for you. Uh, cool. Um, I only use Photoshop when I have to, but when I have to, I try to keep it to what I was actually seeing with my eye uh, and try not to go too far beyond that. Um, so let's just jump right in. And uh, I've got my laptop here. I've got two shots pulled up here that you can see. Uh, one is uh, again of just the moon where I was you know, exposed properly just for the moon. And what you can tell here is that uh, if I zoom in on the moon, you can tell that there's texture and it's not blown out uh, to where there's no details left in the moon. You can actually see the contours of the moon and the shapes in the moon, um, and that's what I want. Uh, you'll also notice, I mean, that it was, uh, you know, we, in North America, we didn't have a really red blood moon, but it was very orange, uh, as you can see here. This is a, a shot that's straight out of the camera. If you notice over here in my adjustments, uh, I haven't done anything to it. Uh, and so it's, it's pretty amazing that that was straight out of the camera. Uh, the other shot I have, of course, is the shot of the river and the mountains and the sky in general. And it's already, it's a, it's a nice shot uh, all by itself. But if you zoom in on the moon, you can tell that it's just way overblown. There's no detail left, okay? So that's where we're gonna have to combine those two images to create a final shot that is the shot that we really want. And that's the shot that did really well on Instagram. This was taken, this was taken probably about 30 minutes after sunset. So it wasn't completely dark. So I've already edited this. I'm not gonna go through the editing process. There's other tutorials for that. Um, but basically get the image like you want it. Uh, again, now we have to just combine these two images uh, to get the effect that we want to get that moon uh, from the other shot into this shot. Uh, open this and click edit and edit in Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop's gonna open, here we go. So we got that shot open and now I'm gonna go open the moon shot, right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. So now we have both images uh, in Photoshop. Uh, and I'm gonna zoom in on the moon. And then I'm just gonna go over here uh, on the left-hand side, I'm gonna grab this quick selection tool. This is amazing, an amazing little tool. It also, it helps when there's a, a very distinct contrast between what you're trying to select and not select. And in this case, you can see, you know, the moon is, is standing out against a completely dark background. So this tool is gonna work perfectly. I'm gonna select it and uh, I'm just gonna go over here, click on the moon and just drag a little bit and it's gonna automatically perfectly select those edges and perfectly select that moon. Now guys, this is really easy to do, okay? You just have to be willing to take two shots and then edit both of them uh, in Lightroom and then, uh, and then finish them up in Photoshop. Uh, so I've got my moon selected. Get this, all I'm gonna do is Command C to copy that part that I've selected. So now I'm gonna select and go back to my other shot in Photoshop. It's already opened here at the top in these tabs. I'm going to uh, just Command V. Uh, for pasting the moon that the moon that I just copied into this shot So I'm going to paste it in there You'll notice that it put it right down here in the middle of my shot and now I can just reposition that over uh, The moon that I have there. Uh, so first of all my quick selection tool is currently selected so I'll just go up here and, and choose the move tool the four arrows and uh, select that and then literally click on the moon and drag it in place drop it there yeah boom we're done so i'm gonna save that shot uh, and literally that's all there is to it so now when i close this shot out and go back to lightroom there's my new shot with the the properly exposed moon and we're done guys it's that easy it really is almost anybody can do this and uh, you're probably saying, well, if anybody can do it, why weren't there tons of other shots of the moon? Well, there were, um, but, uh, but, but maybe not so many around here. Um, and honestly, it's probably just, uh, you know, people had other things to do. They were going out to eat. They were sitting on their couch watching TV. I happened to go out on a Friday night and shoot the moon. It's super easy. Anybody can do it. And so the next time there's a full moon, even if it's not a blood moon like this, the next time there's a full moon, go out there and give it a try. So, um, hey guys, if you liked this video, 
please like it down below. Uh, and if you don't want to, that's fine too. Uh, I still love you, but, uh, but, but go ahead and like it and subscribe if you, if you aren't already subscribed. I'd love to have you follow along. Hey, that's it. We'll see you next time and uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Take care.